Thank the Lord for the night time to do do to forget the day do 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 do. Hey everybody, backpack hack here coming at you with another trail tip, and one of the problems I came across when I got this Magellan Lakewood Lodge tent is lighting it at night. Now normally after it gets dark I'm outside at the fire, but since it's raining I'm inside. But I wanted a way to light this tent up. If I wanted to, a lot of light and flood it if I need a lot of light. And I also wanted a very low light if I just needed more of a night light. And I searched high and low. And the thing is, is there's lots of lights that would hook up here to the center. There's a little ring up here in the center of the tent that I could hook a light to. But then I had to walk halfway into the tent just to turn the light on and fumble around in the dark. Yes, there are remote control LED lights. But then the problem is, is the light is up there and you're always throwing a shadow. So I was looking for something that was a little bit more diffuse and that had a remote control. So let me turn my flashlight off and I'll show you what I got. Now let me show you a little video clip of when I was filming this roof or the underside of the, the screen mesh and the rain fly of this tent earlier today in a rainstorm to show you that it wasn't leaking. Now you're probably thinking, oh, he's got himself a Luma Noodle. Nope, this is not a Luma Noodle. I got this on eBay for about either $30 or $40. And it comes with a remote control. Now the Luma Noodles are fine. There's nothing wrong with them except for they use a proprietary connection as far as I could tell. So you had to use their cables, their batteries, their remotes, just to make anything work. The other problem is, was you had to have the power supply right at the end of the cable, or on the end of the LED strip. Which means, in a tent like this, the battery pack would have to be outside. And I didn't want that. I wanted something that I could run a cord inside and have my battery pack protected here inside the tent, where it's nice and dry. So what I did was I did a lot of research. And as, as great as Luma Noodles are, I mean, I'm not knocking Luma Noodle, don't get me wrong, but they're real expensive for what they are, they're proprietary, and they have more functions than I need. You can get them in different colors, red, green, and blue, and you can get, they can mix those colors, and you can come up with orange and purple and, and, and green and all, you know, all these blue and all these different colors. And you can have them flash and strobe and sequence and all that stuff, and I don't need that. I just wanted a plain white light that I could raise up to a bright full brightness to really illuminate the tent if I needed to, as well as dim it down if I just wanted a soft gentle light for more of a night light or ambient lighting. And I found one. This I found on eBay for about $30, $40. And it came with a remote. Now, the bad thing about this remote is it is infrared which means there has to be a line of sight between here and the receiver. And right now, the receiver is over sitting on my stove. So what I did was I replaced that remote with another remote that is RF, or radio frequency. So I can use this anywhere in the tent. I can even go outside. I can walk 100 feet away and use this remote. It's not line of sight, it's radio frequency. So not only can I turn the light on and off, like that, but I have 11 different levels. I can go straight directly to 100%, 50%, or 25%, and I can go back and forth between any one of those three right here on the remote, just like this, or I can start out at 100% and hit my brightness up and brightness down, and I can go one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I stepped down ten times, so that gives me eleven different light levels. And even from there, I can go back up to a hundred, I can go back to twenty-five, I can go to fifty, I can go to twenty-five, and I can go down to and I think it's ten percent. I think it goes fifteen and ten percent. I'm not really sure. Where did I find this? Unfortunately, eBay. I had to go to eBay to find this. The reason I like it is because it's simply a white light. This is supposedly a 4000K. I haven't really tested it to find out how accurate that is, 
but 4000K is a nice warm light. It's not as daylight as my uh, zebra light. It does have some flashing functions. I can get it to flash. I can have a mode here and a mode here and a mode here, but I don't need those. So let me back out of those. I don't need those. Now I can see where you might want to have those. You know, it does have an SOS mode. So let's say you've had an emergency, you've called 911 and just tell them to look for the tent that's flashing the light three times and that they can find you in the dark. I can understand that. But I don't need all the colors. I don't need all those functions. I just need a light that I can bring up and bring down. Now I'll put a link to the seller on eBay that has this for sale as well as where I got the remote control. The nice thing about these is they use standard 5.5 by 2.1 coaxial DC connectors, which amazingly is the exact same connection that's on my talent cell uh, 12 volt battery supply. So I can simply plug in the power supply to the remote receiver and then take any length of cord. And I've got a couple of six footers, I've got a 12 footer, and I've got a 15 footer, and I've got a 30 footer. So if I want to put that battery anywhere inside this tent, I can snake the wire around the outside, drop it through the, the power port, get it outside, and run these lights. And this light is fantastic. I love this light because, as you can tell, it's a nice diffuse light. There's no harsh shadows. You aren't working in a shadow. Yeah, you can see a shadow, but it's not a harsh shadow. It's very diffuse. It's very soft. And this is a 20 foot long strip, which this tent is 17 foot long. So I did a little bit of math and I figured that 20 foot would go from this corner up across the top and out over the five foot screen porch of this tent and still be able to cover all that. So I'll put a link to the seller down below. I can't make any guarantees that they're going to have any available. It could be a one-shot deal. They've only got so many of them, and once they sell out, they sell out, and they're not getting any more. Whether they can get more, I don't know. This is, like I say, this is a 4,000K. I'm pretty sure they have a 5 or a 6 or a 6,500K. I'm not really sure. When I get back to the computer, I'll check that and put that in the link down in the description down below, too. But if you're looking for just a very basic, simple light, and this supposedly is weather tight. I haven't tried it really because it's underneath the rain fly of my tent to make sure that it's weather tight, nor do I really care whether it is or not. If it gets wet, if it is weather tight and it does get wet, all the better. But it isn't something that I would use outside in the rain all the time. I set it up here in the tent, and if I want a very bright light, I've got it. If I want a very dim light, I can dial this down to 10% and just have a nice, soft, ambient light. So if you're looking for a way to illuminate your tent, especially a large cabin tent like this, of course it has to have an open ceiling like this. This is a mesh ceiling. If you have a solid ceiling, this may not work all that great. Uh, if it's thin enough, you might get some light coming through, but you may not get as much light as you did if with this right here. Now you can probably see here there are a couple of discoloration spots here where it crosses over the from the mesh to the material. I don't know if that'll show up in the video or not, but you'll be able to see a difference in color. That's simply because of the material that's in the tent. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw this out there for you for anybody who's interested in, in getting some 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 cheap lighting that is just functional and just can turn on and off with an RF or an, an IR. I've also purchased a manual dimmer in case for some reason one of these dies. I've got extra batteries, but if for some reason I can't get them to work on a remote, I've got a little $6 manual uh, dimmer that I can use, and that does not take any batteries. So it, it's always a backup to this, something like this. This is an RF. I've got the infrared as a backup. And then to back up to that, I've got the manual. So I just thought I'd throw this out there for you. This is Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be safe out there. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. And I'll see you out on the trail. Lights out.